All right then, so we're almost done with this project now. There's just a couple of things left to do. The first of those things is to make the cards disabled. And by disabled, I mean unclickable or unselectable for a period of time after making two choices. Because at the moment, if I make two choices, I can just keep on flipping cards. And this kind of confuses our application because everything is all flipping at once. Ideally, after we've selected two cards, we want to make the rest of the cards disabled for a second until the two choices are flipped back or they're matched. So if you think about it, we want to make the cards disabled as soon as two choices are made. So just before we start comparing the choices and then we want to undisable them after they're either matched or they've been flipped back around if they didn't match. So let's take a look at how to do this. So what I'd like to do is come to where we output a single card and I'd like to pass this a disabled prop, which is dynamic. And this is gonna either be true or false. So if a card has a disabled prop, which is true, then inside the card later on, we won't allow it to be clicked. Or we can allow it to be clicked, but then we won't react to that click in the same way. So what I'm gonna do is create some state, first of all, up here, which is called disabled. So const and then disabled and set disabled. We set that equal to use state. And to begin with, this is false, right? Now then what I'd like to do is come down here and where we make the comparison right here, I want to set disabled to be true. Okay, so it's at this point after we've selected two cards, until we've done the check and until they flip back over, we want to disable all the other cards, all the cards from being clicked, right? So that's why we set it to be true right here. Now, once the comparison is done, once all this is done and we reset the turn, at this point, we can set it back to be false. So set disabled to be false, all right? So it's only true, basically, while we're doing that check and for this second right here until we turn the cards back around and then it becomes false again and then we should be able to start clicking cards again. So all we need to do now is pass the disabled value into the disabled prop. And so that's gonna be true or false, right? It's gonna be false just during the duration of the check right here once we've selected two cards. So now we can accept this disabled prop inside the single card component. So let's destructure that from here, disabled. And then what we want to do with this is check whether the card is disabled or not. And if when the user clicks on the card right here, this handle click function fires, right? If this is true, then the card is disabled and we don't want to handle the choice. We don't want to make another choice while the card is disabled. So what we can do is do a check and say if, then if it's not disabled, then we can make that choice, right? So we put an exclamation mark in front of disabled to make sure it's not disabled, first of all. And then we can place this handle choice function call inside that if block. So now, only when disabled is false and the card is not disabled, only then will this ever fire. When it is disabled, while we're doing that check to compare two cards, if we try to click on a card, it's not going to handle the choice anymore and it's not gonna update our choice state. So it's not gonna flip over. So let's save this and give it a whirl. And if we try this now in a browser, you'll notice that from the get-go, all the cards are disabled. So why is that? Well, if we take a look at this, we're setting disabled to be true right here inside this use effect function. And remember, this use effect function runs automatically when the component first evaluates. So when the component first mounts the DOM, we're setting disabled to be true straight away. And when disabled is true, it means we can't click the cards because we're passing that through, right? Now, we only ever set disabled to be false after a user has clicked a card or a couple of cards and we do this evaluation and call reset turn, but we can never reach that point now because the cards are all disabled. So this shouldn't be here. In fact, what it should be is inside this little if check right here, because then we're only setting disabled to true after we've made two choices. So let's save this now, cross our fingers and hope it works. So now if we try two cards and then try another, this one was disabled until these two turned back over. Awesome. So let me also try to find a match if I can. 
Yep, that works as well. Awesome.